this is one positive thing that we can do every year uh, to try and align these communities with better health and with thinking about it collectively as a group. How do we do better uh, as a community? How do we sort of inculcate this thing that we started today and carry it on uh, in our communities uh, over uh, the year until we see each other next year? You learn what you see uh, and you do what you learn. Um, and so, uh, particularly in communities of color, it is essential to sort of uh, really showcase uh, things that we want the community to be able to do. These communities in particular are beset by health disparities. Um, and so those are things where you need to improve uh, the things that you're doing. Those are things where we need to change social norms. There are lots of other reasons, obviously, that are outside of individual responsibility or context, which is why things are the way that they are and why those disparities exist. But the things we are encouraging you to do are to eat better uh, and to exercise. Taking it one additional step and saying it is part of healthcare to engage in health, and particularly collectively, right? Um, a lot of times people think of healthcare as an individual thing. The reality of it is, though, that it happens in context. It happens within family units, it happens within households, it happens within communities. And so, really shaping those norms around what is normal, what we do want to do, what standard of health we want to have, what kind of wellness uh, we want the community to have, uh, those are things that have to be done collectively. And so, that's what today is about. I was saying I've been hearing those scary statistics for a while, but it was nice to see a bunch of knowledgeable women coming together to talk about it. And it's something that takes repetition. Uh, and it's something that takes a lot of effort. Um, and it's something that takes everything that you saw here today. It's the normalizing of these activities uh, to say that it's not just for certain people. It's for everybody. And find, find the thing that you love. That's the other thing that I love about today is that exposure to multiple different uh, physical activities, nutritional opportunities, and the like. And it's finding what works for you uh, at the end of the day, and it's finding yourself in uh, those opportunities. And I think that's what's so exciting about the Expo.